But let's move on, Mark. The next team we're looking at, the Washington Redskins. Before we jump into everything, make sure to rate and review the podcast on Apple Podcasts. Really means the world to us, helps us out. Every five-star rating gets us into the ears of more people. But the Redskins last year, 28th in offensive yards per game, 299. They were 29th in points per game, 17.6 points in each contest. Defensively, they were a little bit better, but not much. Um, yards per game, they were 17th, 353 given up. And in points per game, they were 15th, middle of the pack, um, 22.4. This is a team that I will say, much like the Bengals, were playing really well with Alex Smith, and then Alex Smith got injured. Also in free agency, they gave Landon Collins a six-year $84 million deal. They bring in Eric Flowers to a one-year contract, which Giants fans are probably going, why'd you do that? He sucks. Um, Case Keenum was traded um, for some draft picks. They re-signed Adrian Peterson to a two-year deal. Um, and then DRC, Dominique rogers Cromarty came out of retirement to sign a one-year deal mm-hmm. with the Redskins. I want to start with this quarterback situation. And the reason why I do is... We were kind of talking before um, we started recording, and Alex Smith was playing really well. Then he, he was? basically Joe Theismann did mm-hmm. and broke his leg. Then got an infection in that leg, and people are like, "There's he's never going to play football again. I know Jake, one of our patrons, is one of those. It's like he's never going to play football again, but he's even said he wants to play football again. What do you think, first off, is Alex Smith's future with this team? And then number two, because he's not going to play this year, what should we expect from Dwayne Haskins, their new quarterback that they took in the first round? Why would Dwayne Haskins not play this year? No, I'm saying what to expect from him, because he's going to play this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Alex Smith. You're giving me a weird look, and I was looking at you like, I know they drafted Dwayne Haskins. No, (laughs) I I think it's just I either misunderstood or heard what you said. I probably said it weird. What to expect from him when he plays this year. So, Alex Smith, I don't think he's ever, I don't think Mm -hmm. he ever plays football again. Okay. Bandwagon. He's 35 years old. Huge injury. Um, What team's going to want him? Or also... The health of like, mm-hmm. dude, just get healthy. Like, yeah, it's just, okay. You had a pretty good career. Yeah, exactly. Just, just let it go. Enjoy. You've been paid. Mm-hmm. Enjoy that life. Didn't go. His career didn't go how he hoped. Mm-hmm. Never truly got that success. One time he did. It got taken away from him. Uh, he never got his chance to start again. Uh, for the 49ers. But anyways. I don't expect anything out of Alex Smith. I think he's done, especially because I think Dwayne Haskins is going to come out there and play really well. People mm-hmm. are trying to say, oh, he's K- Case Keenum. He's probably going to be the you know the immediate starter, and then Dwayne Haskins will come and take it later on in I the year. I just say start no. Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, I don't believe it at all. Dwayne Haskins is looking good in practice. He's showing his arm talent. He's showing his leadership abilities, his skills, his mm-hmm. ability to make smart decisions. There's no way – that you're going to not let Dwayne Haskins be your starting quarterback. Mm-hmm. You know way you start Case Keenum over him. Maybe well, in the preseason. If you had, like if you mm-hmm. were the Giants, like the Giants and had Daniel Jones. Yeah. Then yeah, I would be okay, start Case Keenum, but like the only way you start Case Keenum over Dwayne Haskins is if Dwayne Haskins is not ready to go and if he's looking like you imagine, he's looking good out there so far. Yeah. So it's like, what kind of an image does that send where your fans see, oh, he's looking good, but we're not going to go with him? Like, right. what, what's the point? Like, we what's know, this team got to lose, basically? We know what Case Keenum is. Let's mm-hmm. see what the rookie is. And let's see. The only time he had a good year, oh, that's right, when he had all that talent from Minnesota right? around him. And, you know, Keenum himself has said that this offense reminds him, Gruden's offense, mm-hmm. reminds him of Minnesota. And I was like, yeah, it's not as talented as Minnesota was, though. I think you're going to have a little bit more trouble. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, Haskin needs to learn the offense. He needs to learn the playbook. He needs to learn terminology in, mm-hmm. in NFL defenses. But well, that's just an NFL quarterback. Especially what like he does. What, I know Brandon and I have talked about this on the PTP, but it's like, who's he going to throw to? Doxson has not been 
great since he got drafted. Mm-hmm. Um, Paul Richardson coming over from uh, Seattle, where it's like he wasn't the main guy in Seattle. Yeah. Um, I don't even think he's a number one type of guy. You've got some rookies that you can throw the ball to. It's like, to me, the thing that I look at, and Kevin Harmon's a good one. I can't wait to see what he does. But, like, it's your tight ends. Jordan Reed, though, is injured, and Vernon Davis is mm-hmm. then, what, it's Vernon Davis and Paul Richardson are going to be the guys you throw to? Yeah. Like, I just, if that's the case, then fucking throw out throw out Dwayne Haskins and see what he can do. I Yeah, I can't imagine. I could, I guess I could see a way where Keenum starts, like, two games, and then they go, all right, that was fun. Put Dwayne Haskins in now. Just um, to say they gave him a chance. Right, but I really think Dwayne Haskins is going to go back to that class. We've been in this weird situation mm-hmm. now where, like, Trubisky didn't get to play because Glennon was there. Mm-hmm. Mahomes didn't get to play because of Alex Smith. You know, we get some of these guys who don't get to play immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think we'll go back to that old way of, like, you know, Ryan Tannehill's third in the depth chart, and then an injury happens, and Matt Moore is not going to be your starter. Mm-hmm. So, oh, hey, you won the job. I think we're going to have one of those of the classic, like, he's our third string. With the two that I think you mentioned, though, number mm-hmm. one, the Chiefs, they were a playoff team with Alex Smith. They were. And you're not going to mess up that mojo immediately. Mm-hmm. Mess it up. Well, that's what I'm saying. This isn't the same situation. But, like, even, like, with the Bears, it's funny you mentioned mm-hmm. them because I just think that was John Fox didn't know how to use Trubisky. He didn't want a rookie quarterback to start. Exactly that, too. And it even showed mm-hmm. when they actually did play Trubisky to where it's like, John Fox doesn't know what to fucking do with right? Trubisky. And it was like, And I know it's all right, probably Mitch. more Dow Loggins, but right. really. Mitch, here's what him. you got. You get to throw the ball <laughs> six times in this game. I know. I know. It's a lot. We're I want a lot I on you. I want a run, 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 punt. Right. Putting a lot on you. Six is a lot. We mm-hmm. could do four if it would make you feel more comfortable. <laughs> you know what I really like to do? One. One is best for me, Mitch. One. How does that work for you? And it's going to be one of those little t- shovel tosses. <laughs> yeah. shovel, it, shovel it to Tori Cohen. We we don't want you throwing the ball too far. Yeah, we don't want to risk it. Oh, my God. Ten-yard pass. No, no, no. You're throwing it too far. Throwing it too don't want to risk it. I just can't imagine Case Keenum, mm-hmm. especially seeing Case Keenum in Denver oh, and being like, geez. oh, that's right. He's not good. Uh and expecting him to come in here in Washington, and you're going to put him out there, and you're going to say, hey, fans, we know you're excited mm-hmm. to see Dwayne Haskins, but you don't get to. <laughs> you get to see this guy. And that's another thing. Sell freaking tickets. Like, yeah. who do you think Washington fans want to see, Case Keenum or Dwayne Haskins? And the thing that I think offensively that's actually a strength to this team is their running backs. Like, Adrian Peterson's been good in the system. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for Darius Geist to come back. Or as you used to call him, Darius Juice. Juice. (laughs) Juice man. We're going to see the juice. Um, Basically, like, Mm -hmm. having him come back from injury, like, you've got Geist, you've got P. Ryan, you've got Peterson, and then Chris Thompson, who's kind of like a receiver out of the backfield because he's more um, a receiver than a runner. And then I don't know if he plays this year, but they drafted Bryce Love, who – Injured from Stanford, so I don't know if he's going to take, yeah. like, a, like, kind of pseudo red shirt year where it's like, you know what, we've got enough running back talent, we don't need to play you and you can rest up. Or if he's actually going to be healthy enough to go this year for the Redskins. They also, have, of course, have Montez Sweat, which I'm really <laughs> excited to see defensively. Montez too, sweet. What's interesting to me, though, is to see John Bostic. Mm-hmm. As their uh, middle linebacker, yeah, uh, one of them at least, Chicago and to go, Bear fame. huh? John Bostic still in the NFL. What do you know? Isn't that interesting? Uh, I remember thinking back about John Bostic and being like, "That's the future right there, man. That's that's our one, you know, Lance Briggs, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Brian Urlacher. John Bostic's gonna be it, and uh, it didn't work out." Do you know how many teams Bostic has played for since he left Chicago? I believe four. One, two, three, four. You're off by one. The Redskins would technically be the fifth. Oh, it was so close. (laughs) So he played for, you trade him to New England 2015. 
then Detroit in 2016, Indy in 2017, Pittsburgh in 2018. Ah, there you go. And then Washington in 2019. I guess I didn't realize that he played for Pittsburgh. So he hasn't played for Washington yet, so technically you were right. Four. Yeah. Um, the fifth would be Washington. Do you know what round you guys took him in? I think he was a third rounder. Close. He was a second rounder. Ah. 50th pick overall. In the 2013 draft, which... Those last, were some good drafts we had. Last question. Do you know mm. who went number one in his draft? It was not a quarterback. 2013. The Chiefs took this player out of Central Michigan. Oh, shit. This was... Um, <laughs> what's his name? The the um, the offensive lineman. Yep. Oh, what was Offensive his lineman went 1-2. Yeah, I don't remember his name, though. Eric Fisher. Eric Fisher. And then my favorite what a one, year. Luke Jokel. Yeah. Uh, Texas A&M one, too. Um, but enough of that. Redskin fans are probably like, what the hell are you guys doing? Um, let's. Is there anything about the defense you think? Because this is a division, like overall division, mm-hmm. where it's like, if you look at the defenses based off of the rankings, the Giants were awful. The Eagles were not great, but didn't give up that many bad points. The Redskins were middle of the pack, not good, not great. Mm-hmm. The Cowboys were the best in this division, like a top 10 defense. Not surprising. Do you see the Redskins flipping any of the script defensively, or is it going to be all um, offense if they win? I don't see them suddenly getting like amazing on defense. I think Montez Sweat is a great addition. Um, Josh Norman is there, too. That's huge. You have good pieces. Mm-hmm. You're just not really there yet. I still see them as just... Kind of average. Mm-hmm. You know, I really like Deron, uh, Deron Payne. Bring the pain. Yep, gotta love it. Uh, it's just that they're not quite... They don't have enough, I, th- I think, just yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't see them getting much better than just their kind of average spot that they're at at the moment. Um, but you know what? That's that's okay. You're kind of rebuilding some things, uh, especially if you're a young quarterback. You're kind of reestablishing yourself as a team. We'll see what happens with that. I actually, not that I want to spoil too much here, but kind of see the Giants and the Redskins flipping this year in their spots. Well, and I'm looking at the schedule now, and like you guys all know, the only difference in opponents that they have from their division is they're going to play the 49ers and the Panthers. Those are the two exchangeable Which games. Which can be difficult games. But like I look at the first five games, Philly, Dallas, Chicago, Giants, Patriots. About four of them yeah, you got a game. could be losses. Mm-hmm. And, like, the Giants, if the Giants play well one game and actually yeah, win a close New game, York. like, this, there's a chance this Washington team could be 0-5. The only chance I give them in those first five mm-hmm. is if, like, let's say Philly coming out, just Dwayne Haskins is starting. They don't have film on them. Don't have film on him, and it's like, holy crap, we did not expect him to be like this. That's the yeah. only way I feel them getting I, a win. I could see them doing, like, lost to Philadelphia, mm-hmm. lost to the Cowboys, lost to Chicago, and win. then being like, let's put Dwayne Haskins out there. Let's let him go ahead and play, and then they can win a game against the Giants. Mm-hmm. They could, honestly, I could see them lose two and start Dwayne against Chicago. It's yeah. a home game. It's a little Monday safer. Night. Um, you know, it gives him that extra day mm-hmm. to to really practice. Uh, that could be kind of a smart way to do it because um, you don't want to wait too long because after, let's say, you know, you lose those three, maybe you win against New York. Uh, maybe not, though, because like mm-hmm. I said, it's at New York. Patriots is a tough one. I think 49ers are a tough opponent. Probably if they have Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, 49ers are weird. They're I, just a mystery. So... I would love to say for sure that the 49ers are a loss for the Redskins because I would I'm love jumping you're on that. You're not going to. Well, I love jumping on that bandwagon, but like, how are they going to perform with Jimmy G? That's the question for me to where it's like, after those first five, they could be three and two, three and three, or I'm sorry, they could be two and two or three and no. Two and two, one and three is where I was yeah. going. I went the wrong way. Two and two or one and three in those next three games, which could make them what either three, two or three wins heading into the bye, which mm-hmm. is not great. But the Jets are an easier opponent. 
I think they're pretty those are pretty even opponents. Like Jets they could get a win, Detroit they lose, Carolina they lose, Green Bay they lose. And then the rest of the division could be lose win lose or lose 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 in my mind. Like this is a team that I do not think is going to be that high of a team when they draft ne- or they're not going to be too high of a team in the standings. They will be a high team when they draft next year. Tankathon has them yeah. as the projected eighth pick right now in the preseason. Like this is a mm-hmm. team that I think depending on how things play out, if they get a high pick, could go with a Jerry Judy. They can go with a um Sheenault out of um Colorado. Like this is the team where it's like, all right, we're gonna get one of those top end wide receivers that look like we can get from this draft. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is a team that's going to take that step back. Uh, but then they can start to get things gelling and start mm-hmm. to figure things out, and they can make their step forward next year. Mm-hmm. But it, I just don't think this is the year for it. Any chance that Dwayne Haskins, if he, I'm going to say on the caveat that he plays every game, that he starts week one, mm-hmm. and you can even say if it changes if he doesn't, is he offensive rookie of the year this year? It's certainly possible. Um, I'm trying to think of who. Might take it from him. Uh, I mean, Will Greer might be a competition for him, depending Especially on what Cam happens. Newton in doesn't play. Uh, no, Will Greer's in um, in Denver, right? No, he's in Carolina. Who's who's Denver's quarterback? Drew Lock. Drew Lock. That's who I'm thinking of. Not Will Greer. <laughs> I'm Drew like, Locke. Will, I'm like, we just talked about him last week or a few weeks ago, Mark. Last week is we're recording this. So. Yeah, Drew Locke is what I'm thinking of. Oh, I think he could potentially take it. Duh, Kyler fucking Murray. Mm, <laughs> Does I, Kyler Murray I take it away from him? I don't, I'm not too high on Kyler Murray. Because like, if I go down the draft picks from last year offensively, mm-hmm. Kyler Murray, he's number one. <laughs> but let's. But how is he going to do it when he has no offensive line? Daniel Jones, number two. No. TJ Hawkinson. Mm, I don't know, because he's in Detroit, so... Then Dwayne Haskins, um, Noah Fant. Yeah, it's possible. Josh Jacobs. I don't know. Marquise Hollywood Brown. I could see it. I could see that. Actually, that might be good. The last first rounder offensively, Nikhil Harry. No, I don't see that on Nikhil Harry. So Hollywood Brown's my my guy at the moment in the first round. Mm-hmm. But I do think though, if Drew Locke actually gets to play in Denver, in Denver, because that's a sol- that's a pretty solid team, and you know it's not an amazing team, but you've got a better shot than Washington Redskins. Like I said, Kyler Murray's gonna get hit after about two seconds, mm-hmm. uh, and there's not a lot of help on that team, especially with a new coach uh, who has a lot of question marks about him. I don't know. Kyler Murray will be kind of a boomer bust kind of guy, but I don't I don't know how I feel about it. I don't feel too excited about him. You know who, and this is now just because I'm starting to think about it. Hmm. I'm gonna throw it out. My dark horse to win mm-hmm. rookie of the year, Damian Harris with the Patriots. Third round running back. I don't know. They they spread the ball around. They got Tom Brady. I mean, look what Sony Michelle was able to do. But wasn't enough to win rookie of the year. And now I I think it'll be I think with the it's either gonna be Kyler Murray, Dwayne Haskins, or Damian. Quarterbacks Harris. have it easy. So yeah, quarter I'm thinking quarterbacks, then running back, then a wide receiver is kind of yeah. where my tier would go. Any final thoughts you want to uh mention before we move on into the uh fly Eagles no. fly? Excited to see uh, Dwayne Haskins play. Well, Redskins, this is where you guys come in. Let us know what you guys think down below in the comment section as I uh, fly as like an eagle. really commit uh, to this. Make sure to tell us what you think down below in that comment section.